Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to do basic editing with iMovie 09. There's lots of cool special effects and transitions and things you can do in iMovie 09. But the basics are to be able to bring in more than one clip and be able to go and edit how much of each clip that you use. Let's go and take a look at all the different techniques that you have available in iMovie 09 to do this. Alright, so here I am in iMovie. Now I have three different clips here at the bottom that I've imported into iMovie into a library. I'm also going to start a new project here at the top. Now, by default, you've got the ability to look at a clip as a long strip here. And I can move around and see in the preview pane to the right uh, exactly what frame I'm on. And you can see this clip is a little longer than this clip. Now I can adjust how detailed to get by moving the slider at the bottom right corner over to the left to see more detail here or I can go to see less detail make these smaller. I go all the way to the right and basically no matter how long the clip is each one is exactly one frame shown in the sample movies here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust it somewhere in the middle there and this allows me to go ahead and select a portion of a clip by dragging like that and the yellow portion is the portion I'm going to use. I can go ahead and adjust the end and the beginning as much as I want and want to get exactly the clip that I want to use I can go ahead and drag that up to the project like that. That's the first way to go ahead and select a portion of a clip to use and edit this clip so that it appears in your project in an edited form. Okay so once I have a clip up here I can select it and I can actually adjust a little more if I like to trim down further. Now once I've done that it doesn't actually change anything because the entire clip is still in there. But now I can go ahead and go to edit and I can go to trim to selection. So I, that's also command B and it will trim that clip even more. Now to use a little more precision I can actually use the edit trim clip end move left move right. So I select an end of the clip you can see that the little red line is just to the right. I mean I'm going to use that side. I'm going to option and right arrow to actually move the clip further along at the end there. I'm going to add more to the end. You can see it getting longer and longer and it's still highlighting this yellow portion I started with but I've added this much here to the end. And I can subtract also and I can also click here at the beginning and add some to the beginning or remove some from the beginning there. So I'm adding a little bit to the beginning and it shows me the frames I'm adding there. So I can be very precise in what I'm adding to the beginning and end of a clip using that option, that left arrow option, right arrow. Now I can also go ahead and trim the clip by clicking on the little control to the bottom left corner like that and I can do the clip trimmer which was in iMovie 08 as well. And I can go ahead here and I see the entire clip here uh, including the portions I'm not using and I can basically re-edit where the beginning and ends of these clips are just by moving it around and it'll, the changes will reflect up here in the project. A new tool in iMovie 09 is the precision editor. And when you go to that you actually can go ahead and see a, an interface that looks like this that shows you the in point and the out for the clip that you're using. And you can basically see it, the movement reflected in the project as well as the clip here at the bottom. You can go ahead and adjust things like that and it will make the changes there. With both the precision editor and the editor for the uh, uh, clip trimmer you can go ahead and press done to finish. Now the real power of the precision editor is when you have more than one clip. So I'm going to go ahead and select a portion of the second clip here and now I've got going from this one to this one here. Now I can go ahead and go into the precision editor and I can see the two clips I've got here and I'm just doing a direct transition between one and the other. If I go ahead and were to overlap them a bit I would see that one would go up and one would go down and I can adjust the point at which they hit. So I can go and say well I want it to be right there and I'm going to also go ahead and shift this one down here, shift this one there and here is the point at which it transitions from one to the next. And you can see it's moved things over here. Now where both the clip trimmer and the precision editor really come into play is if you're using transitions. Let's go ahead and insert a transition here by clicking on the transitions button on the right and it will show us the different transitions. And let's get a simple cross dissolve in here. Now that I've got this cross dissolve it doesn't go cut from one to the next. It actually dissolves. There's a little bit of an overlap. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select now the clip trimmer and you can see at the end of the clip trimmer there's this area here 
where here is the end of the clip but then there is the second yellow line here. and This is the part of the transition. So I can go ahead and see the transition is going to start here and it is going to move through here. So I can adjust it anywhere I want and I can see exactly where that transition is going to take place. I can click on this, this clip here and I can see the other half of that transition right there. Now it is even more clear if you are using the precision editor with transitions. So I can select one movie clip or the other but I can also select the transition itself. Go to precision editor and now I get this precision editor interface where I see the transition and exactly where it is going to go and take place in both videos. So I can go ahead and adjust where the transition takes place. I can also slide the videos back and forth like that to adjust it. And you notice as I swipe across I can actually see the movie up here and the bottom movie up here and if I swipe across the transition I actually see the transition. So I get a really quick view of how to look at all the different pieces taking place in this transition here. Another useful thing is the ability to split a clip. If I click on a clip right here in the middle uh, and I go to the Edit menu I can go ahead and hit Split Clip. A better way to do it is use the Shift Command S while you are editing. So I can precisely drop this where I want and press that key combination and it cuts it in two. This might allow me to go ahead and insert a clip in between by say selecting this clip and now I can drag a clip, another way of editing, inside the project and now I'd be able to put that clip in there and now I've moved that around. You can basically move clips around as much as you want and the same thing with transitions. So in reordering what you're going to do you would move it around like that. So let's look at all the different ways that you can edit, trim, cut, splice and reorder your clips using iMovie 09. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>